Okay, so let's look at this power series. And we're just going to start off by figuring out the coefficients and the center. But notice we need to rearrange the power series in order to easily read off that information. So recall that the general format of a power series is right here. So a general format has your coefficients and then x minus c, and c is the center, um, those monomials. Okay? So we're going to start with our our terms that we're given for our power series. And the first thing I do is I just simply rewrite them. So I factor out a 2. Okay, so when I pull out this 2, then I'm able to rewrite the numerator as 2 to the 2n times x minus 2 to the 2n. So right now you can see that I'm able to tell that my center is going to be 2, right, because I've got that x minus c going on. Okay, I can simplify 2 to the 2n. So instead of having just 2 to the power of 2n, I can rewrite that as 4 to the n. And now I've got my coefficients. My coefficients are 4 to the n over 3 to the n cubed, essentially. So what I wanted to do here is to write out a few of the terms so we could get an idea of what it means to have um, x minus 2 to the 2n instead of what we're usually used to saying, which is x minus c to the n. And basically, it's going to end up with us skipping some, skipping some powers of x minus 2. So we, if we rewrite, the, rewrite, a first, rewrite a few terms, let's see here. The first thing we get is if n equals 1, right, then we'll have 4 thirds x minus 2 squared. So this is if n equals 1 right here. And then if n equals 2, notice we've got this coefficient and then it's x minus 2 to the fourth power, right? And then for n equals 3, we'll have this coefficient and x minus 2 to the sixth power because we've got x minus 2 to the power of 2n. Now, how does this resemble our general formula? And the answer is quite clear. So instead of, even though only the even powers are showing up, we still have the other powers, they just have a coefficient of zero. So it's like zero plus zero times x minus two to the first power. And then we've got our regular x, uh, x minus two squared term, so that's right here. right? And then we've got our x minus two cubed term, it just has a coefficient of zero, and then so forth and so on. So in terms of our coefficients, a0 is equal to 0, A1 is equal to 0, A2 is going to be 4 thirds, okay? A3 is going to be 0, A4 is going to be 16 over 24, A5 is going to be 0, and so forth and so on. So that if we wanted to write a formula for the coefficients, the best thing we could write would be to say A0 equals 0, A1 equals 0, a2 equals 4, what was it, 4 thirds, 4 thirds, right, and then dot, 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 and the idea is that a sub 2n is equal to 4 to the n over 3n cubed, hours. thank you, a sub 2n plus 1 is equal to 0, and this is true for all n greater than or equal to 1. Okay? So that's how we get our that's how we get our um, a, for, a closed formula for our coefficients. And the center, we already said that the center is equal to 2. So we're good with that. And now let's find the endpoints and the radius of convergence. So I'm going to add a page here. So, paste. Here we go. All right, so I'm going to use my good old uh, radio ratio test. I like to use it. So L is equal to the limit. N goes to infinity. And I need the ratio, so I'll have 2x minus 4 to the n plus 1 over 3 n plus 1 cubed. And then the denominator, I'll have 2x minus 4 to the power of Ooh, 
I made an error. Let's back up. Okay, so if I'm working with 2x minus 4 to the power of 2n, I need 2x minus 4 quantity to the power 2 n plus 1. Okay, and then this divided by 3 times n plus 1 cubed. In the denominator, I'll have 2x minus 4 to the power of 2n over 3n cubed. And now where is this coming from? It's coming from L equals the limit as n goes to infinity, a sub n plus 1 over a sub n, absolute value. Right, and if we have our power series a sub n x to the n, sorry, a sub n, right, and then if L is equal to, so L is less than 1, then our power series converges. L equals 1, no conclusion. And then L greater than 1, our power series diverges. So here, we need to take all of these terms, all of this here, and evaluated at n plus 1, that gives us our numerator here. And then evaluated at just n, that gives us the denominator. And the last thing we need to do is place absolute values. And now it is time to simplify. So equals the limit, n goes to infinity. So we'll have 2x minus 4 to the 2n plus 2. And then the denominator will have 2x minus 4 to the power of 2n. And then 3n plus 1 cubed. 3n cubed. Two absolute values. Equals to the limit. n goes to infinity. Now the 2x minus 4 to the power of 2n is going to cancel out with that. So we'll just have 2x minus 4 squared. The 3's will cancel out. And so we'll have n cubed over n plus 1 cubed. This is the absolute values. Now again, we can bring out everything that has nothing to do with n, since we're taking the limit as n goes to infinity. And we can eliminate the absolute values because n cubed and n plus 1 cubed are always going to be positive. Okay, this limit is equal to 1. So we just get absolute value of 2x minus 4 squared. So this is our L. So L is equal to absolute value of 2x minus 4 squared. So what does this mean? Well, looking back here, we know that if L is less than 1, our power series converges. And if L is greater than 1, our power series diverges. And if L is equal to 1, the, we have no, conc no conclusion. We'll have our endpoints. So we've got here 2x minus, so let's see here. So L equals absolute value of 2x minus 4 squared. And so we need to know when is this less than 1, right? When is it greater than 1? When is it equal to 1? And the best thing we can do is we can say, well, 2x minus 4 squared is less than 1 if and only if 2x minus 4 is less than 1, right? So we can kind of take the square root of both sides. And now we can rewrite this as 2 times x minus 2. Absolute value of that is less than 1. And so now we'll have absolute value of x minus 2 less than 1 half. Bam, now we know our radius of convergence. Our radius of convergence is going to be 1 half. And our center is going to be 2. So remember, what is this absolute value of x minus 2 less than 1 half means the distance between x and 2 is less than a half. So in terms of the number line, if the distance between x and 2 is less than a half, 
that means that x has to be in between. So here's 2. So we can only go out a half, right? So we can go one half a unit to the left and half a unit to the right. So 1.5 and 2.5. OK. So we know that we'll have convergence in here. We'll have divergence outside of here. And we don't know what happens at the endpoints. All right. So our radius of convergence is 1 half. And the endpoints are 1.5 and 2.5. So rates of convergence r equals 2. Sorry, r e equals 1 half. And the endpoints are 1.5 and 2.5. Another way to write 1.5 and 2.5 is to write it as 2 plus and minus 0.5. Right, so how do we get our endpoints? We look at our center plus and minus our radius of convergence. Okay, so now let's, we are ready to test the endpoints. So let's test the endpoints. So at x equals 1.5, our series, which is, what is it, 2x minus 4 to the power of 2n over 3n cubed is going to equal so x is equal to 1.5. So we would have 2 times 2 times 1.5 minus 4. All of that to the power of 2n over 3n cubed, which would be equal to now 2 times 1.5, that is 3. And 3 minus 4 is negative 1, so we'll have negative 1 to the 2n over 3n cubed, but that's just 1 over 3n cubed. And this series converges because it is a p-series with p equals, it's a p-series with p equals 3. So our series converges when n, when x equals 1.5. And we can see, well, what happens? So as x equals 1.5, we're going to converge. So 1.5 is going to be included. And then we still don't know what happens at 2.5. So let's go ahead and see what happens at 2.5. So when x is equal to 2.5, we'll have 2 times 2.5. So 2 times 2.5 is going to be 5. 5 minus 4 is going to be 1. And then 1 to the 2n. So for exactly the same reasoning, our series will converge at this endpoint as well. So our interval of convergence is going to be 1.5 to 2.5 inclusive. And there we go.